Hey guys, Rob here. Welcome to Glidal Tech. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a very simple video. I'm going to be talking about two extra things I've gotten for my Indiana Jones costume, and that is his satchel and his pistol, which, um, yeah, those are very important additions to the costume. Alright, hey guys, like I said, um, I'm Rob. Welcome back to Glidal Tech. Um, and I've got a few things here I'm going to be reviewing. First off is this uh, satchel that I got for uh, Indy's costume. So this I got from Magnolia Clothers, which I can show you this here. Um, it's a fairly nice bag. It's a canvas bag. It's a replica of the uh, of the gas satchel, the Mark 7, uh, British Mark 7 gas ma mask bag that was used in uh, World War II. Um, yeah, so that bag was used for Indy's bag in the films. And so this is a replica, like I said, by Magnolia Clothers. I'll link the this uh, bag in the description. The only difference between this bag and the one and the actual bag is that I opted to get the uh, modern interior, which has a spot for like a tablet or a book and has a water bottle slot as well as some slots for pens and um, pencils and your phone and some cords sort of thing. Um, makes it a bit easier to use on the inside for modern stuff. And um, the costume, the indie costume, I'm not going to be, you know, worrying too much about the inside of the bag because the bag will be used when I, you know, go to conventions or wear the costume. It'll be used to carry around some items that I need with me um, that I might not necessarily want to hold in my hand all the time. For example, like a, a smartphone or a, a an iPad, maybe a battery pack or a water bottle, something that uh, I don't want to carry on the outside to take away from the look of the costume. So. Uh, that's what this bag is. It's a fairly nice bag. Um, one thing I have to say is this strap that's attached to it did not come with the bag. Um, the bag actually came with no strap. You can purchase a leather strap from Magnolia Clothers, which I'll link that strap in the description as well. But I did not go for that because um, it was an extra 30 bucks and I did not have the money at the time or couldn't set aside it because I hadn't budgeted for it. Um, so instead, this strap is a simple um, two-yard nylon strap that I got from Joann's and that I sewed, um, well, I sewed one of them a loop and sewed it around the bag here. So I'd have to cut the strap to take the um, strap off the bag. And then I also sewed a little uh, sliding buckle here. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it keeps the, the strap in the position I'd like it to be in. Um, one day I will upgrade to a leather strap. Um, but I don't have the money for that at the time, so uh, this will have to do for now, and it works just fine. It's it's the dark brown. It's not a leather strap, like I said, but it'll it'll work for the time being. So it's a fairly nice bag. It sits just like how I want it to sit. And there, just I've adjusted it to the right length to where I can have the strap up here, and just uh, since there, I'm gonna back up so I move my chair out of the way so I can show you this. So see, it just sits there, fairly nice. It's easy to open up and get into uh, when I need to use it and whatnot. It's a pretty nice bag. I really enjoy it. It's comfortable to wear. Um, I wore this for two days with my normal everyday stuff in it as my normal carry bag. Um, I've alternated between a backpack and a satchel for years, and so I'm currently on the satchel where I, that's where I carry, that's what I carry around in my everyday life. Um, and I switched it out with this for a few days to see how comfortable and how durable this was. And uh, it was pretty nice. I really enjoyed um, carrying it. Um, very sturdy, held up. I packed it pretty full. So I would uh, just, uh, the max I would carry in there. And so it was a pretty heavy bag, um, but it held up just fine. No tears, no nothing. And it was, uh, like I said, comfortable to wear and wasn't really inconvenient at all. It felt uh, very natural to be wearing like this. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy that. Like I said, on the inside, there's just a, a few interior pockets. Um, this is a laptop or, uh, not a laptop, a tablet pocket. You ha have a big pocket here and a smaller pocket here. This is for like a water bottle. And in these pockets here, I don't know how well this is going to show up on screen, but uh, down here, there are some loops. You can kind of see those sitting in there um, for pens. And there's just two minor pockets here. 
Um, it's very nice. I really, um, I really like it. On the bag here, there is some text writing. It says uh, Mark 7, um, MCL TD uh, 1942, which is um, obviously what would have been stamped on the inside of the um, bag that Indy used. It has two snaps on the front that can be used to, uh, you know, secure the, the main flap and whatnot. Um, it has two of these grates on the bottom. I'm not sure what they are. I think they're uh, little vents to keep the inside cooled, I guess. I'm not exactly 100% sure on that. And then I have no clue what the heck this thing is. But uh, either way, that's it's all accurate to what you would have seen on the uh, actual Mark 7 gas mask satchel. And so on the exterior, it looks just like the bag Indy used in the show. Not the show, the, the movies. So I'm very happy with how that all turned out. All right, next up I have the, uh, the pistol that um, I've got for the costume. Now, a um, couple things about this. This is actually an airsoft pistol, a gas-powered airsoft pistol that I got off of Amazon. I will put the link to it down in the description. I specifically got the, um, this design and I got the four inch barrel because Indy's gun is a regular revolver that had the barrel cut down to be four inches long. Um, I don't know exactly why they did that, but uh, they did and so I needed to get a revolver that had a four inch barrel. Um, I had a, a plastic revolver that I could have used, but the barrel was too long so I'd have to cut that down and then clean it up, modify it to make it look nice. Um, which I could have done, but I really wanted to go for a revolver that was already cut to the right length. That um, was another thing about this. This is a metal, um, metal uh, revolver. So I'm really happy about that. It feels more like a real revolver, um, which is, like I said, really nice. It's got the orange safety tip on the front, which is always appreciated. Um, the um, hammer does pull back, and you can pull the trigger and it springs forward. And another cool thing is that this, uh, the chamber, the six or the eight shot, no, this is a six shot, my bad, um, falls open so you can, uh, well, I'm pointing it at myself there. So you can see where the, uh, you would load the airsoft um, pellets into. These little chambers come out and you can load them with, like I said, the airsoft pellets. Um, and then it closes back up. It still has the gas chamber in the, uh, uh, that you can fill up, or the chamber you can fill up with gas, so you can actually fire this in the handle. Um, the only reason I did not take that out is because it is required, uh, well actually these screws on the uh, metal handle here, or the, the plastic handle here, are screwed directly into that um, little chamber, so I cannot take that out without putting a replacement piece in there, and I don't have the tools required to make another metal one that'll keep the same weight to it and also be able to screw those in there. So I'm leaving it, that in there for the time being. Um, not quite sure how I what I will do to this thing to be able to take it to a con, or if I'll even be able to take it to a con with it being an airsoft pistol that technically works. Um, not quite sure, I'll have to do some research on that. But I'm really happy with it in general. The only thing I had to do, the only modification I had to make after getting it was this handle here. It had a plastic grip piece that um, was molded to have like finger grips in it. And so I took that off so it would look more like a traditional revolver there. Um, yeah, that's what I did that. Um, and also, if you remember this from my last indie video, this is the holster that I got, the genuine leather holster that I got for the costume. And the revolver fits perfectly in there. It's really nice and I can close this entire thing up and there we go. It fits in there and I can pull this open and open it up and there's the revolver ready to go for the costume. And so that fits in there, like I said, just great. Um, I really like it and uh, in fact I store the revolver in there actually. Um, that way I don't ever forget where one or the other is. Um, but yeah, so that is, that's the revolver that I got for the costume. All right, that's the two things I was going to review today, is the uh, the satchel and the revolver. Um, both of them, I think, are great additions to the costume, and I'm really excited to um, put them with the rest of my gear and put the entire thing together. I'm still waiting on the hat from Ad Vintage Hats. Um, it has actually arrived in the United States now, and it was supposed to be delivered on Friday, but it got delayed due to a bunch of shipping stuff that's been going on with UPS, or USPS, my bad. So um, I don't know exactly when it'll get here, 
but it is on the way and it's going to be here soon. So expect a video reviewing that hat coming out in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about that. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see some other indie cosplay videos, you can check it over here. Uh, up top is where I announced my Indiana Jones cosplay and showed you the piece I already had. And then down below you can see my uh, review of the holster, the whip holder, and the leather belt I got for the costume. Um, I really enjoyed doing that and I can't wait to put the entire costume together. Um, as always, please subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.